business Everything that you're about to witness Get up, come out and try to get this This is all a part of my sickness But listen up, cause you're about to miss this Everything that you're about to witness Get up, come out and try to get this And this is all a part of my sickness And welcome to Crack the Cred, the show that takes the mystery out of recovering passwords or finding ways around them. I'm your host, Dana Epp. And in our first episode online, it only seems fitting that the first type of password that we want to figure out how to get around would happen to be the ILO security password on a big beast like this. This is an HP DL580. This is a server that I got from uh, my buddies over at HP and it is a skookum box and I have to thank them very much for sending me this thing. Um, this thing comes with four CPUs, each CPU with 10 cores. It comes with 256 gigs of RAM, 1.5 terabytes of RAID storage running at 15,000 RPMs. Uh, it's got quad redundant power, cooling, pretty much everything you need to have a pretty amazing box. And then we put in a couple of NVIDIA cards, GTX uh, 580s, the amount of GPUs that this thing has and the number of CPUs, this is one amazing cracking box, uh, capable of doing just amazingly fast uh, computation, which is what you want when you want to look at brute forcing uh, passwords. Um, Interestingly enough though, when I got the box, I had a little bit of a problem. And that problem is, is that every single uh, uh, HP server comes with this really cool piece of technology called ILO. And the nice thing about those, uh, the servers that have ILO is it gives you the capabilities of sliding it into, into your rack and then being able to remotely connect up to it. And that way you can manage it, set the bias, do all that kind of stuff. Uh, and of course, if there's any issues, it's quite easy to see it even before while it's posting. Something that you really, really want the capabilities of doing, especially over the network. One problem. Uh, the problem is it comes with a default card that includes the ILO password and that password's not the password to this box. And so I needed to find a way to get around it. And that seems to be a perfect topic for our first show. How to get around ILO security passwords. It's quite easy actually. Uh, HP had enough forethought to think about that kind of stuff could happen and they built it right into it. So one interesting thing about this is that this is one of those kind of low tech solutions here. We don't need to crack anything. All we have to do is know how the motherboard works and find a little way to bypass it. Uh, and it's quite easy actually. If you take a look on a DL580 or any of the similar rack servers, if you flip off the case, you'll find that there is a set of um, server drawings right on the cover. So here I have this one here, and the area you're looking for is something called the system board component interfaces. And if you take a look, there's a set of drawings with numbers that are pointing to it, and you're looking for the item that says system maintenance switches. And uh, usually you'll find, especially on the 580s, it's a, it's a really big drawing here, and it's uh, section nine of the motherboard. Um, and if we take a look, right underneath the system uh, board components drawing is a section called the system maintenance switch, uh, it's a table basically. And if we take a look in the first set of uh, eight switches, switch one automatically says on there the settings with the default off. Switch one, ILO 3 security enabled. And that's all we need is if knowing that switch, we can go into the motherboard, flip it, and it will bypass the ILO password uh, entirely, which is exactly what we need to do in this scenario. So, pretty easy to do. I'll just put this to the side, make sure you're grounded. And then just take some kind of a, a sharp object that's uh, very, very small and just go down to that first dip and flip it like so. And there you have it. Now when we boot this up, uh, we won't need to know the ILO password at all. It'll actually be um, uh, completely bypassed and we can get in there. Now, a couple things to remember when you do this. First off, it is a, a, um, a very low tech solution here, but it has very big implications because every ILO system out there, it's easy to scan for and find. If you forget to switch this back, it does mean that other people will be able to get in and see post and reboot and do all those nasty things you don't want them to be able to do. So. Do your deed, get booted up, get through the bypass, change the password, uh, shut it down, uh, switch that switch back, and then you're good to go. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to get around ILO security passwords on an HP server. Um, nice thing though is uh, it, it, it has saved my butt to get Ritz booting up, and that's a very cool thing. So, Anyways, in our next set of episodes, we'll actually start using the box and we're actually going to start cracking some very cool passwords. Um, but in our first episode, it only makes sense to thank our friends over at HP by showing you how to get around the ILO security. Uh, and until next time, just remember that 
Passwords are only as good and strong as you make them. A switch or two here, quite easy to get around. Listen up. Everything that you're about to witness Get up, come out and try to